before we did our kitchen renovation, we had a tiny kitchen. It was very small. And before that, we had a galley kitchen coming from the city. And before that, I had basically a closet for a kitchen. So to say I know a thing or two about organizing small kitchens is an understatement, which is why I have 10 tips for you to organize your small kitchen. The first step is to minimize. Minimize everything in your kitchen so that you only keep the essentials, just the things that you actually need. I have tons of videos on how you can minimize your stuff, so make sure you go down below to watch more of those. I'm not gonna go into detail on how to minimize in this video. Use wall space. Okay, when we lived in the galley kitchen and the small kitchen in our house, we hung our pots and pans. The reason why we didn't really have a lot of storage and pots and pans take up a lot of space. So instead of just, you know, putting them everywhere or trying to shove them in like a cabinet and making it really difficult to get to, we decided to hang them. Tip number three is to keep your counters as clear as possible. Now, just listen, okay? Because I know you're like, okay, give me a break. No, I'm serious. So, in order to keep your small kitchen organized, you want clear counters because it makes the space feel bigger. Plus, it gives you tons of prep space. So, just keep it clear, which means you have to minimize, which goes back to number one. So, only keep the essentials. Everything else should be stored in the drawers or cabinets, and if it can't, find another spot for it to go. So in our tiny kitchen, I had to store a lot of our large kitchen gadgets, like the crock pot, in our living room because we had cabinets in the living room. And so those things were stored in the living room. So that's how I made that work in our small kitchen. So that's an easy way to keep your counters clear is store your extra appliances in other places. Okay, tip number five is to add more shelves. Yes, most kitchens have cabinets that go all the way to the ceiling. And with that, they usually give you two shelves in your cabinet. So you have the bottom shelf, you have the two other shelves, but if you move things down, you can fit one to two more shelves in your cabinet just by readjusting the shelves. Now, why is this gonna help you organize your small kitchen? Well, it's going to help you keep your counters clear because you have space, more space for things because you're going higher up. So if you have, you know, those special cups or you have, you know, seasonal things that you only use occasionally, maybe you have large pot or pan, you can create more space by getting more shelves to store more things. Tip number six is to use the door to store things. Now, I'm sure you've seen this, because I've seen this everywhere, where they hang the measuring spoons on the back of the door. I love this. I also hung bibs on the back of a cabinet drawer in order to keep them from piling up other places around the kitchen. You can use the door to store other things, so don't forget about door storage. Stand the cutting boards up. There are so many, like, there are so many types of cutting boards that if you find some that either come in a container that stand up or create a cabinet that holds all of your cutting boards and baking trays, you're going to create more space because again, it's vertical and most kitchens that are small go up. So using that vertical space to store your cutting boards and baking trays by using vertical space and keeping it small, you will actually gain space because you are going vertical. Now, if you have a deeper drawer in your kitchen, you might be able to use a double stacking drawer organizer. Okay, these are drawer organizers that are meant to stack on top of each other. It works so well for kitchen utensils, like cooking utensils, and also your flatware spoons, forks, knives, that kind of thing. Because if you have a steak knife and you have a regular knife, you could stack the two on top of each other so that your steak knife is still there. You just remove the drawer organizer. But 
you are using all of the space inside that drawer instead of letting some of that space go to waste. If you have a corner cabinet, using turntables or Lazy Susans are going to be your best option. So in our previous kitchen, we had a large Lazy Susan that didn't really turn, but kind of turned. The bottom one didn't turn at all. So what we did was we stored all of our bigger baking items on the Lazy Susan so that we could use that space, go all the way in the back, and then any lids we had could go in the corners. This way we aren't losing space by just shoving things in the cabinet. We actually gave it a purpose and the heavy items went on the one that didn't really turn. That way, you know, we didn't feel bad as we're like yanking it around. But smaller cabinets can use products that have Lazy Susans and that will spin better than what we had. You can also use bins to create drawer storage. So if you have a lot of cabinet space, you know, a lot of upper cabinets, and then down below you really don't have that much because you have your stove and your dishwasher and then there's a, under the sink. So you don't really have a lot of under or lower cabinets you, or even drawers. I mean, our old kitchen, we had two drawers. That was it. Like one didn't really even count as a drawer because it could fit two, you know, foil wrap things. That was all that would fit in that drawer. The other one held the silverware. So we had two drawers. I really call one. So you can use bins to act as a drawer in a cabinet. There are some that are already pre-made or you can just use the bin and pull that out to create a drawer for your small kitchen. Now, not all of these tricks are gonna work in every kitchen, but I know a few will work in yours. So now go get to organizing. Start by minimizing your stuff and using some of these other tips to create order in your kitchen. Love what you see? Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every Wednesday.